So what exactly is a mutation? Well, a mutation is a permanent change in the DNA of an organism. You should already learned that DNA is a special code used to make proteins, which then determine how cells work and how the organism works. A mutation is a change to that code, which can then change how proteins work and how cells work and how the organism functions. Now in this lesson, we're gonna look at what, we're gonna look specifically at gene mutations and what they are. And we're also gonna explain what causes sickle cell anemia as an example. Now mutations can occur because of factors in our environment such as smoking or UV light. These factors are known as mutagens. However, mutations randomly happen all the time. It's just these mutagens increase the rate of them occurring. Quite often mutations are completely harmless, but every now and again, they can cause serious problems. Gene mutations, which are also known as point mutations, usually occur when a nucleotide isn't properly copied during transcription. Now there are three types that you should be aware of, substitutions, deletions, and insertions. So in a substitution, one base is changed for another. Now, it's not necessarily that serious, as it can only alter a maximum of one amino acid. Now, bearing in mind what we learned about the generic code, that there are 64 combinations for any 20 amino acids, one change in a base might not actually change the amino acid, so it's gonna have a pretty small effect, okay? In the example here, there is no effect, as CGG and CGU both code for arginine. Now, in a deletion point mutation, a base is removed from the sequence. Now, this can be very serious, as it will affect all the amino acids from that point onwards, because remember, you're reading three at a time. So if you get rid of one, then everything shifts back one, and the next one, all those shift, and everything shifts. So you're gonna affect all the amino acids, depending on where that point mutation comes in the gene. If it comes near the end, it won't be hopefully as serious, but if it comes near the beginning, you're gonna almost affect the entire gene. And it's similar with an insertion. You're going to insert a base into the sequence. And again, it will affect all the amino acids from that point onwards. Now, an example of a condition caused by a point mutation is sickle cell disease or sickle cell anemia. It's caused by a base substitution, which means that one amino acid changes in the chain that is used to make hemoglobin. Now, there are 147 amino acids in this polypeptide, but by just changing one of them, glutamic acid to valine, it causes the nature of the protein to change. The hemoglobin starts to stick together and it makes these long rods and that forces the uh, red blood cell out of its normal lovely biconcave shape into this, into this bent sickle shape instead, which makes it far less efficient at picking up oxygen and carrying oxygen and it causes blockages in small blood vessels. Sometimes whole genes swap around on a chromosome. This is called a chromosomal mutation. Also, a person can also be born with too many or too few chromosomes. This is called whole chromosome mutation. An example of this would be Down syndrome, and we'll look at that in a later presentation. Every now and then, a mutation occurs which actually improves a protein. It may help an organism to survive, and therefore, it will be passed on to its offspring. And this is fundamentally the basis for evolution. It's a buildup of beneficial mutations. Species can change very slowly over millions of years by these rare mutations building up. 